Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. It's Monday, it's Ladder Leverage Day, and we are just bombarding you with awesome TLG peoples. We got Wasabi and Green Knight. Green Knight is here. Super excited. What's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? Hello, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a bit packed today, right? But we like for a very it. good like reason. It. It's in a, a plethora of knowledge, and we also oh, have yeah. Shoop, because Green Knight loves his Meeve, and he loves his Shoop, so... Um, this is a list. Uh, you said you got it up to twenty six twenty on. Uh, yeah, at the moment, yeah. On um, NR, that's pretty impressive, dude. That's pretty impressive. Um, so let's run down the list. Of course, you know you got your shoop. Um, some key pulls with it, like in this game, you you can you can destroy an artifact. So if they do like the summoning circle, it uh, it's gonna hit them pretty hard. Um, what are what are some other good pulls with shoop that you want to try to hit? So Shoop's just a very solid, versatile card, right? As well as a high-end card, um, which NR lacks sort of like reliable finishes, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's got some new ones since Crimson Curse. Um, a solid Shoop pull. If you want the most reliable value, then going Shoop Knight will often net you like 12 points. Um, mm -hmm. The deck has a lot of synergy with boosting, and one of the knight options is um, to boost a unit by four, which can be great to support Anna or just to protect an engine or to get some extra value from the Lyrian Scytheman, perhaps. Or the Prince and Seas duel, yeah. that can be insane. So that was the next card uh, I would talk about as well. The Prince and Seas, like he definitely synergizes from, from the buff. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's other options with Shoop, though. Like he can also provide you resilience. Potentially, he can provide you a way to destroy artifacts. Um, he can remove um, units, um, your opponent's units, with four yeah. damage. Like, um, if someone is crazy enough to open the round with a big unit against you, you can even go shoot mage, right? Get right. deal 13 or a charm. Like, it's a very versatile card, as you said, yeah. So, if your opponent is playing the first card in the round and it's a big unit, you may as well go shoot mage because if you hit the charm, then you're going to charm their big unit, which is an insane amount of points. Yeah. Um, or at the very least, you're going to get the damage option and you're just going to destroy the big unit, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's Shoot Hunter, good. again, is often quite solid, right? You can deal three damage to three units. You can inflict weather on their row. You can hand buff. Um, and you also play around tall removal by going for Agent Hunter as well. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the resilience, because they're. They're gonna try to if you do uh, if they do win round one they're gonna try and bleed you because that's just what you do to NR right so the resilience can come into pretty big you know if you could carry over eight points that's pretty great yeah um, this deck is very resistant to being bled um, one one issue be when being bled could be the summoning circle um, so you'd have to be careful about that. Um, yeah, if it looks like they're going in, you you, you probably want to play it like as soon as possible. <laughs> we found that yeah. out the hard way in one game. Pro probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like the other nice thing with the deck is that um, like your game plan is flexible, right? You you have a decent amount of strong, potent gold engines yourself, so your long round is pretty strong. While you also have a great amount of control. Uh, to remove their engines, so you can decide like whether you're favored in a long round or if you want to overcommit into round one, win it, and then bleed them yourselves, right? Because you have the tools for both options. So right, um, Prince and Nasi, you, like you said, really great card, really versatile. He's, he pairs up with Shoop. He pairs up with some of the shield options you have in the deck. Mm -hmm. um, really and like great. especially with the Meeves buff, right? Like. Basically, if you're playing Meeve, you're automatically including this card. It's just ridiculous. Right. Yeah, that, and I mean, you could even, like, play Neneki and then play this, and it really just hammers something down. Um, right. Mm -hmm. Geralt of Rivia, the king of the last say, if, they got, if they're playing something <laughs> that's <laughs> going to be super big and you got last say, you usually are going to win. Um, Neneki, um, pairings with this, you know, you got your uh, Anna Stranger, you got your... Tried them. You got uh, Prince of Nazis. You can uh, Scythemen. Scythemen's. Yeah, it, it. That's your 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 two really big pulls, I guess, are the Kedwinny Knight and the Scythemen. 
with the... Sometimes the, the Trident infantry as well. Yeah, um, yeah from the circle. You know? other, other reasons, other things you would do with the circle is um, you would pull something that sets up your Gregoire. Uh, oh, yeah. If, often if your opponent is is suspecting you have Gregoire, um, you know, if you just play like a Regis to set up a one strength unit on the board, your opponent might make the read that you have Gregoire in hand and try to deny it, right? Yeah. Um, but if you use Summoning Circle to pull, I don't know, a Damned Sorceress or... Or a Knight, yeah, that deal two or three, right. you can play Gregoire immediately. Yeah, you that's a very Gregoire good point. immediately and your opponent can't really deny it. Yeah. Deny Gregoire. Yeah. Right. Um, so we got uh, Gregor, like we were mentioning, really great card. There's going to be damages. You got botchlings. You got all kinds of other stuff that are going to knock something down. It's going to get value. The summoning mm -hmm. circle, like we said, you you play it, you know, and preferably you want to play it in round one. Preferably you want to play it in round three. Three. And not have it removed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because it's worth, on average, it's worth 14 points in a 10 card round three. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes cool. more. It really depends how much value Scytheman gets. Um, it, if we're assuming it's like quite a mediocre Scytheman, like just six points, then it would be a fourteen-point summoning circle. But wow. if it's a ten-point Scytheman, then it's going to be an eighteen-point summoning circle. Wow. Which is yeah, you could get the knights for, and the uh huh. Yeah, that's like Eight brand points. potential for NR right there. That's huge. Oh yeah. Um, Botchling, pretty pretty much auto include. I think, man, that card's just yeah. too good. Yep. Um, Vess, you know, you got uh, you got Prince of Nazis. What are other targets for the charge? Um, the Artificer? I mean, there's nothing really, right? You're just playing Except... it just for the four removal, pretty much. Huh? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, so, Green Boy, you were playing Aquist in the list initially, right? But um, yeah, so ended up cutting deck, it. This this deck is, is tailored to not um, be favored against Ithnik, but to have a chance against her, right? Right. Um, because there's a lot of control decks out there, it's not just Ithnik, and one problem for NR at the moment is if you play a bunch of engines, and they all get killed, then you lose the game, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, this, this deck, it just plays like a few quality engines, um, mm -hmm. which, if your opponent can answer them, they don't trade up that much. Um, and if they don't answer them, then you know you're you're going to be generating a lot of points for free. Um, Neneke, she's just kind of too good to cut. I felt like I'd keep her because she's a six strength body. So even if your opponent can lock her or something like that, she's still worth six points. Which... Yeah, it's yeah, she's just really really good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fisher got... King. Yeah, you oh, got sorry, yeah, you got Anna in here too. Uh, she's pretty great, and if if she can get going, Anna, man, it's it's Anna, gonna. Anna's amazing. Like, she's she's basically auto included in Meef decks. Yeah. yeah, one of those cards that saw basically no play until Meef was introduced, right? Yeah, and it's Whenever... for me the biggest thing about her is the fact that she's end of turn, and what this means is like if you're on red coin um, and you're pressuring your opponent, you can play Anna with a leader charge for and. It actually plays for nine points of tempo, right? Because yeah. If your opponent passes, you can also pass, and she'll trigger off again. She'll so she will have triggered off twice, right? Mm-hmm. So so if they pass, thinking oh I'm on even, and yeah, you just yeah. pass, and, and you really yeah. you really screw them over. And it's the exact same thing with Botchling and Windhelm. So yeah. they're really nice engines that that play for high tempo. Uh, yeah, like the that's the important part, right? They generate the value immediately, and they are not as susceptible to removal as, let's say, Oquist. So, right, right. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And now that you got the Fisher King in here, what are what are cards you want to preferably pull? Like, uh, if you if you're going for last say on like a bleed or something, you get the Geralt of Rivia. So Fisher King. Um... He's there to put what you think is is your most important card at the top of your deck, right? In the uh, matchup, yeah. He's he's at his very best in round two. Like if you were not able to win round one and you decide to pass, and then your opponent uh, doesn't bleed you or makes a pass at some moment, that's mm -hmm. when he's at his best to secure your top decks to put the to put the best card at the top of the deck. He's okay in round one as well, though. 
Yeah. Right? Yep. So, if it seems uh, like your opponent is just playing all his gold cards and you're not going to win it, you just put right. shoot. You put shoot on the top, and then you're 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 good to go for round three usually. Pretty um, much. Print. Um, he, the deck doesn't have any thinning outside of summoning circle, so he's just his main purpose there is to to almost ensure that you have shoot every game. Yeah. All right. Um, so we got Prince um, Prince Waldem here. You got a couple options to buff him up. You got the Artificer, you got Rune Word, and you got Watchmen. So you you should have a way to get if they remove the shield once, you should be able to have another a, you know one on hand to get it back on him. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, he, he he's like a really good engine. Um, I think a lot of people don't like him because he he boosts up really tall and then if your opponent has a Geralt or something like that um, that's true it's, it's kind of like fake points right yeah but I mean else, the... if they're spending a Geralt on him um, it means they're not spending a Geralt on say Gregoire for example yeah so it's even fine. if they Geralt him then he's he's often worth 10 points Right. Yeah, he's really provision efficient, right? Yeah. Basically, as you drop him, he immediately plays for a 6 if they decide to pass. It's just... Yep. And yeah, if they sink 2 or 3 damage into him just to remove the shield? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's uh, insane. Right, yeah. yeah. And like, I mean, any, any, you know, anybody that has Geralt, they're, they're going to get something off of you. It's, it's better that they get something that's 7 provisions than something that's, you know, way up there, you know? But, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Plus, dude, yeah. it's not it's not like a last say thing, like say uh, you know uh, a huge Burt or something like that. You know, it's like it just right. sits there and. No, I've seen Windhelm like hard carry rounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's 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 uh, he's really insane. Sometimes there's just not the answer, and like you said, if they decide to break the shield, you have like up to three different uh, ways of enabling it again. So that's right. Uh, yeah. And the shields are not just for Windhelm, they're very, very versatile. They yeah, 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 of course. Many different uses in the deck. Yeah, Prince of so Nazi. Have your, have your duel, you have your Anna. It's just really nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we got Lacerate in here, so if you do play, if you get the Treb to stick, they're going to stack on melee. That Lacerate is probably going to be massive. I mean, they're, they're always going to stack on melee to begin with, right? Against Anna to deny the Treb. So. That's right. At the so same, that, most yeah. yeah, most people play around the trap and they play into the lacerate. However, some people will try to play around the lacerate. It's nice to have the trebuchet there to punish them and say, "Nope, keep putting more units." In <laughs> <there>. <laughs> exactly. Please yeah, if you get an eighteen-point lacerate, you're a, you're a happy guy. Um, yeah. Vincent it's, Mays, some some sometimes the, the card doesn't. Uh, find value well it's it, it usually finds value but in some matchups like monsters it might not do so well and unless they play like old spear tip or something then you're just laughing on the inside so, um yeah vincent vincent he's he's a soft target towards um tall monsters mm -hmm. um, he's also a soft target towards Ithne. um most of the decks are playing uh, the oak so vincent would be a nine point card on the oak which is not bad for six provisions um and he also sets up Gregor. Yeah, I was right. Say the Gregor as well like, as you being could... a card that pretty much always meets his provision, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you could essentially compare him with uh, Peter, let's right. say. Yeah. Like it's very... just it's just cheap, right? It's versatile. It's great in some matchups, mediocre in others, but it's just too good not to include, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit too good not to include. Yeah, and then we start running into our bronzes. We mentioned the trap. Uh -huh. People play around it. Um, if they don't, you know, it's going to get value. Um, if yep. they are playing, you know, uh, Arrakis Queen, you know, it's going to ping off the little spooters as... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ked Winnie Knight, Summoning Circle Pull, it's pretty great. Thins your deck. Mm -hmm. um, Watchmen to give uh, a tier back his, uh, his buff. We also got Artificer to give it to him as well on demand if we need to. Yeah. And then, I mean, or you can shield uh, your other engines, right? Such yeah, as, absolutely. Uh, the, yeah, the shields the are very point. versatile. Yeah, yeah. Shoop's the focal point. This guy's just like a, his wingman. Yeah. Um, the cutthroat and the scholar to me are kind of like the the mulligan fodder, along with the damned sorceress. They're just kind of like in there because they're four provisions. 
So a lot of your four provision cards are mulligan fodder. I would say the Kedwenny Knight and the the Scythe. Typically, man. what? Yeah, they're typically what you would want to mulligan because they're ideal summoning circle pulls. Mm -hmm. um, the Cutthroat of the Scholar, they're actually just very solid four provision bronzes, right? Um, oh, yeah. Often just five points, especially the Scholar. He's often even more because you can use him to buff the Trident or Anna, mm -hmm. or even just to get some more Scytheman value, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the Cutthroat can help you set up a Gregoire or something. Cutthroat can set up Gregoire, so can Sentry and Knight and Sorceress. Yeah. Sentry and Knight also boosts himself, as well as often just being 6 for 4. Mm -hmm. Extra synergy with the Scytheman as well, it's just... Extra synergy with the Scytheman. Like, yeah. these bronzes uh, always get solid value by yes. themselves, and potentially they have a higher floor uh, synergizing with each like other. Say, compared to the last shoot deck we made, um, Devil, uh... That, that that deck had the bronzes were not great, but since then we've had Crimson's Curse. Uh, yeah, so for a shoop deck like the bronzes here are actually very very respectable. I think. Yeah, yeah. like even the runestone that the runeword that was added, right? The runeword's great. Like, yeah, if you yeah. get it to stick on the the tritum, you got like a you know a yeah a treb and it's basically yeah it's great on like any engine, right? Anna Windhelm, as we mentioned, it's just so versatile. I love it. Right. One small change you could make to the bronzes that I sometimes think about doing is to just run um, an enchantress instead of a sorceress. Uh huh. Because it's basically like another oxen. Scholar. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. But yeah. it's I, I think it's nice to have the the three damage option as well. Yeah, it can help you a lot in some games. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's the list. Um. Here's a couple games for you guys, and we'll see you at the end. So we kind of got baited there into thinking he's going to play more engines. Ooh. Oh no. Onward to victory! <laughs> so it's probably, uh... So we want to pull the Scytheman with the summoning circle. Yeah, we probably just misplayed horribly there. We should have played summoning circle turn one. Yeah. So what do we kick here? The... The Watchman, I guess. Maybe the... Yeah, the Scholar? Watch, kick the Watchman. Yeah. The, the room word's actually good with Anna. Uh, Knight is kind of weird. Knight is good, though. Uh, I mean, sure. Okay, so we can kick the Knight here, because the Scholar's probably better this round. Oh, it's the Mulligan Buck, nice. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, we had like two more seconds. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what are we... What are we playing here? So, mm -hmm. we would like to have last say against Ada, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, so we really want to win this <laughs> round. Um, so we should probably... We should probably... Lead off with Summoning Circle, right? Yeah, developing the circle seems fine. Yeah. Larry! Nice. So we Regis that, right? Um, not necessarily, right? We could use the trebuchet and then next turn kill it with the uh, the, the sentry and knight. Yep. Ah. So we could we could play a trebuchet here. Boost it up to five and then. Yeah, just boost it with the leader. Yeah. Knight just kills it. Like he gets a few extra pings here, but it doesn't matter. Two points is nothing. <laughs> We would like to preserve some of our removal for maybe some higher priorities. Like that. Wait, what? Good job, sir. I mean, it works, right? Like, he pings it and then, yeah, he, then he puts it to one and kills it. Yeah. It's a fancy play. <laughs> <laughs> Considering we're at like rank 3, right? Yeah. And also, he does play Roach. I mean, it's pretty nice in Ada so we're with just the Witcher playing nerf. The knight. Yep, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight here, we kill the obelisk. For the queen! Nice. Uh, do we ever TA it? Uh, I mean. We still have Anna in hand, so probably not. Probably not, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, too, they don't really have any death blow to death blow units, right? Butch lingo. He's going. Uh -huh. okay. So do we wanna. Do we wanna. I'll say he's that. 
is my question. Hmm. To take control of this round. Because we, I mean, do we really need the last say if we can remove Okvist uh, with the Anseis? Are we pulling anything with the circle? Uh, no, yes, no. we're gonna pull the Kedwini Knight next turn. Next turn, yeah, yeah, it's a five. Okay. Mm -hmm. We could just answer with our own Botchlink here, honestly. I'd play it next to the left of the Cintrian Knight. Are we buffing it? Probably... No, no, no. I probably want to buff the Cintrian Knight with the leader charge. Oh, okay. That's fine. It's fine. Not the end of the world. So he, he kills it with... Magic can work wonders when used correctly. So what's okay. he buffing? That's slow, which is good for us. Yeah. Um, we're, pulling think... the, we're pulling the knight then, right? Yes, we're pulling the knight. And the question is, is do we dare to use tactical advantage on Anna? And I think the answer is no, because some of them run out. We should probably play this. And we can play the Artificer in the back row. Mm -hmm. With the intention of playing um, Anna next turn. Yeah, sure. I mean, this knight, though, plays My into Ike anyways. Right, so, maybe so if he uses it now, then we yeah. can TAD Anna. So we pa down. that's it? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. <laughs> Quit hitting that! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's no other target, right? That's why you shouldn't These have buffed have the Borch no longer. Oh god, okay. So he's going hard. He's going really hard. I mean, we can kill it if we wanted to. <sighs> I mean... How do we kill it? Like, we... we... Um, we kill it with Prince Anseis, or we could just damn. Oh, he's giving it a shield. Yeah. So well, if we shield it ourselves... <laughs> We can actually shield kill it, right? Shield for shield, huh? Uh-huh. Do we do that, though? Or we could... Can we pass? No, we can't, because I botchling might actually hit the shield, and then he can pass, and he's a point. Yeah, yeah. So we in Aussies? Yeah, okay, so we take the yeah. prince uh, Boost it to give it a shield. Shield. Boost it up, yeah, 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 and we we hit the salt kirk or yeah, yeah. We take the yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to kill it. Nice. Okay, that was cute. <laughs> Quit hitting the damn watch lane. I mean, yeah, you got you lost so many points there, right? I thought uh, the bug was if like... you move it. it... Could have uh, flipped it a long time ago. Yeah. Did we pass here though? Oh no, we don't. We. uh... We just nuke it with bloodlust. No, I think we play Anna here. It's yeah, it seems fine. So if we play Anna in between the five and the three. Yeah, and then just TA it. TA the Anna. I think we probably should flip the botchling. Yeah, we already gave him like well we lost like two or three points, so we might like, as well lose another one. We're losing a point by flipping it, but at the same time we're losing points by not flipping it. Right. Yeah. It's All fine. right. I think this is too much pressure, right? He basically has to get out. Because I think if he did have the Ike, he would have used it on the knight immediately, most likely. Oh god. Okay. I mean, he wants to get the revenants going, right? <laughs> that bad, though? Yeah, no, it's terrible, right? You never want to do this. Because he's not necessarily even winning on even, right? Yeah. My studies are I mean, he is getting ahead. Well, he can try to win on even, that's for sure, but not with the circle. That's not happening, I don't think. So... He hits that for two, it goes down to one. We play... Um, Regis now, right, onto the Revenant, because it's... Um, he can always play, like, Sabrina or something to trigger his Revenant. Yep, 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 so Regis like back row. Regis back row. And just kill it. The problem is the rune word is really bad. Use your leader charge. Onto, on the Regis. Onto the botchling, right? Onto the botchling? Um, oh no, yeah, we want an extra boosted unit. Yeah, we want Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we're pulling the Scytheman after we. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, that's gonna be huge, huh? It's four provisions? Yeah, it's four and it gets boosted for every boosted ally. Alright, he has the botchling, fair enough. Boy. The rune word is just really awkward here, right? Uh, yeah, we're not gonna play the rune word, we'll either lose on even or... Um... Okay, so, question is, is it better for us to play the Scholar and then pull... Because we could pull another 5 provision card here, potentially, instead of the Siphon. Is there anything better for us? Uh, there's not really any impactful 5 left, right? It's just the Watchman. Yeah, it's not... So we pretty much have to Scholar and then Scytheman, right? I think we... Yeah, Scholar and then Scytheman, yeah. Knowledge is the sole treasure worth seeking. No, no, seeking. Wait, 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 can we... Okay, never mind. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. too bad the Vitality doesn't happen immediately, right? Yeah. Unfortunate. <sighs> but I mean... <sighs> this, this should get us out, right? This should get us out. I mean... Hopefully it does. Okay, yeah, nice, so. nice, perfect. So we're this out. was a really weird spot we were in, but... So we're out, right? Yeah, we're yeah. We're he used his leader and his Ockvist. And so... his ale. Yeah. And we thinned two bronzes out of our deck with some new really Oh my the... god, okay, wow. it's, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> uh... Alright. So our Geralt's dead, but we don't care at this point, right? Yeah, uh, we probably just played on the dry pass, to be honest. <laughs> Get rid of the rune word, right? Uh, it's sure. It's really good with the trident, but yeah, we probably pick it. Uh, we keep the watchman. Is he, is he gonna? He's not gonna push us, right? No, he can't. Kick the watchman, and we can drop the Geralt. Yeah. Yeah. An ironic uh, ten point, ten provision card on a dry pass, because I mean it's just dead otherwise. <laughs> I so, mean, maybe he plays Gregoire, right? In uh, like, but yeah. I, I would drop it. I would drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play the play the girl. <laughs> Feels bad. Damn it, but... Geralt. Damn it. Yeah. All right. Like these other decks have a lot of ways to set up Gregoire. I could see them maybe. Uh, yeah, could it's just be. A good card, isn't it? So what are we? We kick the cutthroat, right? Or do we what keep do I it? I mean, no, 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 because we do have the Gregoire. Yeah, let's kick the Watchman. I Watchman think. doesn't do anything for us, yeah. And that sure. doesn't that do does. anything for us. Yeah, get rid of that. That does, nice. though. So, so how do we... Okay. So do we just start Neneke? I think we do. Yeah, and we boost her, right? Or... Uh, wait, okay. No. We didn't have to boost her. Yeah, we could have waited, but... Alright, so that is dead with the trident. Or do we wanna like. Okay, whatever. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> Maybe boost him twice and hold one charge. Actually, no. Yeah, boost him a final time. We wanna kill yeah. him. I, th I think we're likely gonna get our Gregor R here every time since we have Vincent Death and the, the Cutthroat, so. So we vest that. Yeah, sure. Shh. Sure. Or do we do we Vince? Do we? Okay. Oh, okay. We That's should... fine. No, no, no. Hold the charge. Hold the charge. You're yeah, not losing it's... anything, uh, cause you only get it twice this game. Yeah. Like one more time after use it next turn. So. So we just. I mean, we're 16 up, right? There, there's. He's I don't see have... a universe. He's gonna have a blue stripe scout probably in his hand. Yeah, which is dead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's his own vest. All right. So we just bleed it, huh? Um, sure. Do we not stack? Cause he might have Sabrina. Uh, don't think it matters, honestly. So we bleed it, um, and then we lead a charge. Hang out. I guess we still lead a charge to try them, right? Yeah, so. you can just Gregoire next turn, right? Like, Vincent is not gonna kill anything. It's just setting because it to the if one. We don't, if we didn't boost the try them there, then. Battles are won or lost by the Alright, fair enough. So we just Gregoire. Sure, sure. Well, 
28 points, two cards. Yeah, I mean, this this Stratum was an insane amount of points, <laughs> even without. Yeah, he's out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good game. Fair enough. Wow. You tried a little bit too hard to, to win uneven, right? Mm hmm. All right. I wonder what his thinking was. I mean, <laughs> you know, you know, you're screwed when you have to play both of your dragons after your opponent. I like her too. I think she's a cool leader. Hmm. Uh oh, Arakus Queen Saber. To <laughs> <laughs> All right. Arrakis Queen is such an interesting leader. So we do have Circle and Less Raid though, so that's nice. We're on blue point. Kick the Watchman. Um, yeah, Watchman doesn't do anything for us, yeah. And uh, maybe Sorceress, I don't think Sorceress does much. Yeah, yeah, Runeward is gonna be amazing with the Tratum, it's just gonna pew pew all the spiders. So what's our game plan? Um, well... We would if like it's to the... win round one so that we have less say, right, with Geralt? Oh yeah. Well, if it's if it's like the artifact deck, we can't really beat him in a long round three, right? I mean, with less say, I think we could with Shoop potentially destroying uh, the artifact. <laughs> right. Okay. So That's we're playing fair. Circle. Yeah, I think we play. Maybe we can play Fisher King first. Hmm. So we get an extra charge with the. Yeah, leader. yeah, yeah. We're not wasting a Meef buff. I like that. And what are we putting on top? Uh, Geralto. Geralt, yeah. We always want Geralt in this matchup, I think. Or is it yeah, I think. If we don't draw it, we just lose to Glusty, so... Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. And then we can Summoning Circle, and we're actually happy to play pretty much every card in our hand, apart from maybe Shoop. Exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Thing is, what are we using? Well, if it's the Griffin version, then we're happy boys with the Vincent, but... If he if his highest unit is like a Barbagazi or a Cyclops, then it's not that great. It's like six points, mm -hmm. but we'll see. We could also be greedy boys and try to preserve the summoning circle. But... Ooh. Ah. I think we should probably. Whoa. Get okay. so he's bringing out the frightener round one. Yeah. I think we. Like you said, if we thin our deck from two bronzes, our chances are a lot higher to win. So we're circling. Yeah, find the, the good stuff. So we play yeah. circle. Uh, yeah, let's go circle. Play deep into this round. Yep. I mean, he played a 12 right there, so we have to answer with something equally powerful this round. Summoning circle so good. Yeah. Where's our uh, bomb heaver, sir, Mr. Green Knight? <laughs> Well, we've got one, right? Shoop. <laughs> right. Oh my That's goodness. True. Like, we could actually shoot, but I think it's maybe overcommittal. I don't think it's worth it, right? We, I don't... Okay, so... Um, what are we it's doing It's a 20-point shoop if we get it, but I don't think we should do it. Yeah, I don't think we need to do it. Um, we can maybe try to save that for his summoning circle in round three. Yeah, exactly. I mean, are we taking the Vincent... Oh, nah. I think we probably play Tridem here, right? Yeah, seems good. Tridem buff. Yeah, I mean, it's a real shame that we don't have Tridem! Anna this turn, this round. But... Yeah, Anna would be great here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Do we Anna. buff it? Because he probably Regis this, huh? Um, They can't really fit Regis, I don't think, so... But yeah, I mean, I yeah. I wouldn't buff it, now. I'd yeah. be more scared of him having a Geralt here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because yeah, he's not going to get value off of a Geralt in this deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This less raid is probably going to be good enough to... I mean, yeah. It so trades we can, up. We can actually play Rune Word next turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It Precisely. Pew, 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 pew. And then our summoning circle's just going to carry us. Yeah. Card is honestly disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so we're Rune Warding this? Yep. Like you've seen the previous game, right? The later, the longer you keep the rune word, the more the more awkward it gets. And Tridem is pretty much the perfect target. You don't have Ooh, anything else in this deck really, except for maybe Anna. Mm -hmm. So, Anna, yeah. uh, and we could turn the Frightener to a one, right? <laughs> uh, it's immune, sadly. So. Oh! I mean, it's <laughs> it's shielded the good sir. Unfortunate, unfortunate. <laughs> I don't think we need to zeal and give it a shield. 
So, I mean, he's never going to kill that with anything, right? right? There's no point. So we're playing the shield, though. Uh, sure. I mean... In the back? And are we pulling anything with the circle? Not yet. No, no, no. Maybe hold on to the shield. Okay, so what do you want to play, then? Because we literally don't even need the shield, right? So, maybe so what are you going to do? Maybe play Neneke. All right, sure. Neneke and Lida, huh? That seems good. Lida the Tridem, right? Uh, right. Just an extra point. Just yeah, point. well, yeah, it goes to aid anyways, plays into Geralt. Yeah, it didn't matter, we could have done that. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if we could have denied that if we just go full greed and TA to try them without ca giving a. We could threat, have done right? um, Yeah. Okay, so now it's the turn to pull the, uh, the Kedwenny Knight. Mm hmm. He's the most important card to get out. Do I yeah. buff? Do I play the artificer and buff it to get an extra point, or? Yeah, we could play the artificer this turn, I guess. Um, and buff it. Um, he will buff himself, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. The good of magic. Yeah. That is what I said first and foremost. Pull the night boy, exactly. Yep. Oh. <sighs> and then we're just using our pings for the. We don't even have to. Uh, we can hold them. We can hold yeah, them, right? We can, we can hold them for now. Wait for the wait for the spooders to come out. <laughs> because, yeah, if, if we wait for some spooders, as, as we soupy calls them. <laughs> so they, he's gonna. Whoa. Okay. I mean, that is a Regis probably. It, or do we want to wait? We could. So there's Regis, or there is Vincent, and then High Roll Ping it with NK, right? Right. I mean, yeah, it's quite likely to happen. Probably, it's... probably Regis. Right? Regis is better. Yeah, it's like a direct answer. And now we could really pressure him here and buff the Trident. Um, yep. Maybe use all the charges from Neneke here. Mm-hmm. Then we can also use our advantage. But use the advantage onto Regis. Sure. Otherwise, we're playing a little bit hard into Geralt. Yeah, yeah, let's TA the Regis. Sure, seems fine. And now, if he keeps going, then we are getting our Arbalest. I mean, the Scytheman, this round. Yeah. yeah. Which is nice. But it also means that we probably have to play Shoop. Uh... So now he's 18 points down. He needs to start playing big. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he oh, this is immune. Never mind, the Frightener's immune. Yeah. I was like, oh, we could just knock down the Frightener. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, yeah, it, it would just be a useless card if it was Burnalaboro to, like, toll removal, right? I mean. So, what do we play next? Far. Um, Vincent, I think, is not particularly good in this matchup, right? <laughs> yeah, we can hit the Harpy. And this is probably the best we'll ever get. Uh huh. Yeah. Gotta go with you, Twenty-five. Wow. So he's twenty-two down. CDPR, where's my three provision cards? <laughs> <laughs> Next patch. So he's, yeah. he's basically setting up for Glusty, I think. Oh yeah, he should hit. Um, oh. oh. Okay, never mind. You could have so hit. He doesn't the... have Glusty well. Well, or he's just stupid, right? <laughs> I think what we do here is we, we buff Vincent, right, for the potential Scytheman. Yeah. We, we lacerate his back row to remove ones. Well, then you're spawning the five, but I don't think it matters, yeah. I think he can consume that with... Yeah, 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 yeah with the Barbagazi always. So this way you deny a spider actually as well. Yeah. We're, we're denying his only way to catch up, which is what's yeah. right? I'm pretty sure he should pass here, but yeah. He's not. He's going in. He's going to Geralt. Oh, no. Don't if, even if, say if, it. If, if he keeps playing here... We need to then calculate if Glusty Warp's enough to catch up. If it's not, we pass. If it is, then we could consider playing Shoop Carryover with the mm -hmm. Siphon. Yeah, which just wins the round no matter what. Uh, yeah. 
There it okay. is. That's He's heading off. There it is. It's a shame you can't pull out the siphon and then pass, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pull out the siphon and uh, shoot carry over and go for a 2 0, right? Easy. And there's Garrel. Sorcerer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was our Fisher King, right? Alright. Um, I mean. I'd kick the sorcerer instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're passing, right? I think so. I don't think this is a great pushing game. Yeah, like... <laughs> what do we push? So what do you open with? You open with a Watchman and then you have a 4 point card in your... Yeah, it's... It's just bad. Ooh. Here comes it's the... It's okay. The Bricked Foglet. Incoming. You don't even need the Gerald, right? You're just gonna charm his Glusty Warp. Easy. <laughs> oh, okay, that's perfect. Nice. So much for, with these cards. The trebuchet, the trebuchet is great because the, there's going to be things constantly spawning. In yeah. The I would think the oxen first scholar because the sentry and knight can kill. Um, he'll always have things to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill the spider, get a boost. That's easy. Okay. Scholar and then and sorcerers, then right? Sorcerers, probably. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Nice. There's That's always perfect. a target for that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the dream card in the matchup. We don't need to try and kill that immediately. Yeah, we can roll it when we both have a unit, right? Then we have three yeah. good options. So we play Botchling? I would play Trebuchet here with a boost. Okay, yeah. Because the boost is kind of lost on the Botchling, I think. Uh-huh. We, we might wanna flip it at some point, yeah. So, like, if he plays a unit that we can also lock, then we have four great options with the Shoop. <laughs> So hopefully he plays some consume engine or something. And then, uh, well, the botchling hopefully will hit the some of the spiders. Oh, uh, yeah, it it can. All right. Uh, I think we play botchling here, right? Right. Yeah, because okay. he's gonna he's gonna play like a. If he cyclops is the but the the rock fiend. Then I guess it has a chance to kill the Botchling, but it also might not, and then it just leaves the Botchling damaged and we At one, yeah, exactly, he can't really do that, right? Yeah. Unless he's mad. I think we will get another decent block target. I think next yeah. turn is the Shoop turn, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, so this is where you Perfect. Shoop and you have four good options, so you can't really... So we're really... going Shoop and what one Knight, right? Yeah, knight. exactly. Shoop Knight? <sighs> So we are looking for Lock, destroying destroy an, an artifact. artifact. There you go. So we're destroying it. Oh yeah. Goodbye circle, no brand for you good sir. <laughs> oh that's brutal. Yeah. So can, uh, uh you well okay no. Oh worries. I missed a buff. Uh not really. Exactly. It's fine. I think after getting that shoop artifact destroyed, it was just like uh the gentlemanly thing to do, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just to give him a fighting chance. Well, I mean, there's not really a chance, but yeah. I mean, oh, oh shit! Not do? like this. That does quite a lot, right? Yeah. Well, wait. When we have, when we both have three units, it doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. Or am I missing something? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we just play the Watchman. Do we play the Watchman or the Knight or... The Knight might do? die. So there's, there's, there's a few options available to us here. Yeah. We could play the Watchman or we could discard the Watchman. Uh, that doesn't make much sense, right? Because next, yeah. next turn, um, our Treb is actually going to kill the Spider at the back. Right. But... Uh, hmm. We could also take a Gregor here. Because I think if the spider dies by the treb, it actually respawns. Exactly. Yes, it does. This, this is fine. I g Greg is okay, sure. Yeah. And, then and don't boost the fall because boost, of Keltalist. Boost, boost, boost the, uh, the button. Bochlingo? Yeah. Because sure. we don't want that to be the lowest unit, right? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's dying like Shoop, Treb, Bochling. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's, this is fine. <sighs> this Keltalist uh, spicy deck is... <laughs> So we're losing f four, right? 
We're well, assuming he plays only one unit and doesn't eat anything, then yeah. It's gonna be a. Wow, this is gonna be confusing here. Um, uh, not necessarily. Like, he actually needs points, right? He doesn't yeah. have any points yet, so... Okay, so his calculus is useless here. Alright. So I guess his idea is that our trap so, will kill the dead left for him. So we just... Mm. Oh. Or not. Or not. <laughs> so we just so play we, the, the knight just to get the... Yeah, 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 we have tank. to knight here. Oh. Yeah, it's right. still Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. So now we take... We take the knight so we don't miss on the vitality, right? I think so. Wait, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. We take the knight. Sure. Deny us, Buddha. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seems good. He's probably gonna play K run and eat a bunch of stuff. Yeah. It's funny how we how we have a four point card in our hand, but it's still okay, most likely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. his last card is K run. What if he doesn't even have? Yeah, so he doesn't even have the glusty. Yeah. <laughs> so we just play the. We just play the knight. Yeah. And we buff it doesn't up really matter. Uh, the botchling again. It doesn't matter, right? You can boost whatever. Yeah. Like doesn't change anything. Now he's just gonna K ran and then you Gerald and then you win the game. Or he's gonna glusty, then you Geralt, and you win the game, so... Yeah, I mean, definitely, like, this Karen coming down is like... Well, it's just gonna die to Geralt, though, so... Oh, it's a glusty, after all. So he has a useless double that laugh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, guy. Right. I mean, in that case, he definitely should have waited and tried to let us try to kill him. The, the, the off at one, yeah. Yeah. He, th there might have been a way, but yeah. Kelthius, higher vampire, Glusty. <laughs> Coming to a meta snapshot near you. Just play everything, right? <laughs> Just play every card. <laughs> hey, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, Wasabi, as always, thank you for coming through. Green Knight, thank you for making time for us, brother, and uh, showing us some more Meave Shoop. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna call it the. Meave shoop week, and uh, when you come on, because uh, you like you like your meave and you like your shoop, yeah, <laughs> and you win with it too, man. Like a lot of people are like, "Oh man, that can't be that good," and it's like, no. It's yeah, like twenty twenty six twenty is quite impressive when with, with an R, right? Especially with meave. I'm still on peak with it. I might might yeah take it even higher. Everyone's on the brand train, uh, on the Hansel train, right? But. His deck I is think, so Hansel's probably the stronger leader overall. Yeah. No, sorry, Hansel's probably the stronger leader if you're not being countered, right? But right, yeah. I mean, yeah. The problem with uh, the Hansel deck is you queue into Ethna or Bran. Let's say you lose coin flip, you're just pulling your hair out, right? Mm -hmm. But this so, deck is more versatile, I guess. Hensel has quite polarized matchups. Some matchups you're very favored, other matchups you're very unfavored, right? Whereas exactly, Meave, yeah. Meave is like, you can win and you can lose like pretty much every game, right? So it, mm -hmm. it's more going to come down to how you play and maybe how you draw as well. <laughs> and how you high roll your shoe, right? Yeah. You <laughs> yeah, if you can get that brand out of the way, you're good to go. Uh, but uh, hey, that's the video for today, guys. Ladder leverage every Monday. Always tune in. Definitely check out teamofviathangaming.com for all your meta snapshot, deck guides, crafting guides, and all your other fun stuff from uh, the TLG team. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time.